Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire, a classical naturopath located in the Pocono Mountains. I am also the best-selling author of Ask the Good Doctor. Today we are going to talk about how to do an herb bath for soreness. This is one of my favorite topics because herb baths are truly, truly medicinal. You have to look no further than your kitchen, actually, to find some of these products. And certainly, you need to get a little friendly with your health food store if you don't have them. First of all, when you are sore, and when the body is sore, and when it's tired and exhausted, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to take a bath. We should bathe daily anyway, and I mean a bath, not a shower. Baths are so much more healing for us in terms of helping the body to be restored than it is to take a shower because all of those good oils just go right down the drain. Now I know many people like to say that, oh, you're sitting in your own dirt. Well, you know what? Stand up and rinse yourself off after you take your bath, okay? But the best thing that you could do for yourself is to bathe. So what can you put in the tub? You can use Epsom salt, one cup of Epsom salt, one cup of sea salt, sit in the tub, lukewarm if you have high blood pressure but as hot as you could stand it and then allow it to cool down then you should also use a natural soap something that does not contain sodium lauryl sulfate in it but just a natural cleansing soap to cleanse the skin you are going to notice around the tub will be so incredibly scuzzy that it may even frighten you but don't get alarmed this is your body's healing system and this is the draw out effect of what happens in the tub that also not only detoxifies the body but it helps to relieve it from pain and soreness so you can also feel good while you're in there it's definitely therapeutic it's like a spa treatment at home for additional benefits you can get peppermint or chamomile or calendula tie them in a stocking a knee-high or um, a muslin cloth or even cheesecloth and let it sit in the tub and steep while you're running the water like tea, like good tea. And you let it seep in the bathtub and get in it, discard the herbs, and enjoy. This is so beneficial for you. It's so healthy, so helpful. You should also use a natural sponge while you're bathing as well to accompany the natural soaps that you use. Finally, after you've had your bath, for extra added benefit, lay down for a little while and cover up and stay there or go to bed or at least lay down for an hour after your bath. This will further to enhance the health benefit for you. Thank you for joining me and I hope that you follow these tips for soreness and herbs baths to help you enjoy perfect health. For more information, find me at askthegooddoctor.org.